Welcome back everyone to Captain of the River, where today we are going to be leaving Tharbad behind as soon as I kill a couple of orcs. Well, assuming I don't just run through them or anything like that, but I could run them through. There we go. Now let's check to see if we have any gaps in the wall. Oh, this is a gap in the wall right over here. Let's see what we find here. This gap should provide a good view of the countryside. To the northwest, you see the activity amongst the distant outbuildings of Tharbag. Well, I should check to see what's going on over there as soon as I'm finished and dealing with uh, these. And of course, after I check the any other gaps that there may be. Ah, here's another gap. The gaps in the wall should provide a good view of the countryside. The rolling hills of Reddymore could guide any number of dang hide any uh, number of dangers. Well, yeah, I guess they're more likely to hide dangers than guide them. Unless you're looking for a good ambush spot and that they're guiding you toward the ideal location based on the terrain or something like that. So that's possible. Just one more. And we shall be done, I think, right? Yes. Talk to Manel there on the road just north of Tharbot. And this is level... 20. So I think that means that we really should go and check that little outpost that we saw earlier. Oh wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. I need to first talk with Meneldir right in front of Tharbad. And that is Tharbad behind us. If the crossing of the Grey Flood proved the worst experience of our journey, I will count it fortunate. I fear that it won't be, though, as it is likely to be the West. Did Hegwin dislike the damp and cold of the Wade Water? <laughs> He's fortunate they had no need to cross the Grey Flood, and under the watchful eye of his parents, it will be many years before he might. But now we must turn our eye towards our own road. Cardolan awaits, and within its bounds we will find my friend Narndir who will know the location of the chieftain of the Dunedain. Then, with a free purpose be attained, and are on as well. Perhaps then Boromir can set on his proper course, and you and I will dine at the Prancing Pony before we part. But we are not there yet. We must take one step at a time, lest we trip upon our own feet. All right, and... Do we get a nice jacket? Yeah, that's a nice jacket. Our first destination will be the town of Herna, a village of farmers and traders to the northwest. Hmm. Yes, Herna. Uh, this is the crossing of the ways of the northwest of here, where the greenway coming south meets with the road coming north out of Venedwipe. When last I came this way, the tavern at Herne was a pleasant enough place, although it could not truly compete with the Prancing Pony for entertainment and company. Crossway House it is called, a two-storied building near the south gate. Let us be off. All right, well, you can be off. Now, now it's at 21. So with that being at 21, I will meet you at the Crossway House after I check in with the people over in this group of buildings. I just remembered, I have a port to this place. This is the location here where it says, Sail to Tharbad. This is the location where it takes you when you do that, so getting here will be qu quite an easy thing to do. I don't have to worry about setting a milestone then, since I have a port there, and the cooldown on uh, these ports is 15 seconds, which is certainly a lot better than an hour. How can I be of service? All right, let's see what he got here. We have absolutely no stable masters unlocked. Well, I'll have to do that when I head around north, but let's go and talk to some of these people, and maybe we'll have a quest or two to do. 
Hello there. I am so angry that our trip to Tharbad has been ruined by those awful orcs. I wish that I could walk right into their camps and destroy things of theirs just like they did to us a few nights ago, but I am no match for them, alas. Uh, you, however, could exact my revenge, could you not? If you come across any of their stashes of weapons, destroy them. <laughs> That'll teach them. Wait, she's feeling a bit bitter, isn't she? Do you need me to kill any wolves? What do you need? Have you seen my kinsmen nearby? I'd go looking for them myself, but... He gestures to his bandages and smiles wryly. After what happened in Nimbarth, I doubt that they would enjoy rescuing me again. Ooh. Could you make sure that they're all right? They should have returned to Nimbarth by now, to the northeast. Our leader is a woman named Mariona. You'll have to forgive her and the others for being wary about you. That's just how things are with them. All right, so I need to find. Oh, he's a. Uh, oh, uh, okay, he's a Dunlady. So I need to find some Dunladings near Nimbarth. And that is the lowest level quest of these, so I guess that's the one we should do first. And what about uh, this man? Stay and hear me out. Hello there. Unhappy days these are, looking at our shelves, empty after the raid by the orcs of Tharbod. And I have a wife with child to feed. Edda is craving berries and, well... <laughs> I learned with the first two children not to argue with a craving mother to be. Sadly, I'm no warrior and I can't leave this camp, but uh, perhaps you can help us? Uh, to the north are some ruins, among which grow bushes covered with Edda's favorite berries. If you bring some back to us, perhaps she'll stop her pacing? Alright, well, what's Etta eating? Uh, oh, 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 what's eating Etta? But well, uh, let's speak to Etta. Might I take a moment of your time? Etta Ewberry. So, are her favorite berries from the yew tree? Well, well met. Uh, do not mind the pacing. I find myself restless being confined to these crumbled walls. Uh, my husband, Tan, didn't want to make the trip, and now it seems that he was right to worry. I want to make him a new pair of breeches, uh, just, l but our hunter is otherwise occupied. I if you head north, will you bring me hides for the avonk that lurk in the water patches? Avonk hides. Alright, fine. And what do you got here? Greetings, fellow traveler. Greetings. My name is Burl Stonecrop. My companions and I have been tasked with traveling the Greenway and investigating whether or not there would be any benefit to rebuilding a settlement here in Cardalon. Predictably, our first night here at Tharabad, we were attacked. The ruins are full of vicious orcs who stole our supplies before we could fend them off. We will probably be heading back up to Bree, but without our supplies, the trip home will be impossible. However, you look like someone who could stand up to these orcs. If you retrieve our supplies, I'll compensate you. Alright, so I need to recover some stolen supplies while destroying orcish weapon caches. And what do you need? I travel down from Bree with this company as their hunter. <laughs> uh, my name is Howl Wolfscomb, and I travel down as a hunter for this group. It's my job to keep us supplied with fresh meat, but when the orcs attacked, they stole my bow. I could make a new one, but this land was stripped of its trees long ago, and besides, it'll take far too long. I heard that you're going to go into the ruins? When you do, will you look for my bow? Alright, I'll see if I can find one. I may have to wind up improvising on that regard, though. I appreciate your help, 
Have you been across the road to see the herds of deer? They're, what a sight they are! Magnificent creatures, and good eating, too. We surely could use to supplement our rations, and the orcs, no doubt, ate all of our food. If you've a mind to help, bringing us some of the deer meat would go a long way. Fine. And uh, is that... Oh, no, no, we have one more. Hail, traveler. Please, I need your aid. Yes, I am Rengar Nevit. My father, the mayor of Herna, was last seen going into the ruins nearby. He has always been obsessed with Tharbath, but recently the ruined city has been overrun with orcs. I fear for his life, but I'm no warrior. Please, look for my father in the ruins. Yes, I am going to check his house in Herna again in the hopes that he made it back. Alright, fine. I'll look for the missing mare. Now, let's see. Now, the wayward mare is actually a relatively low level one. The scouts tend to be lower on that. So, let's go to the north first because I think that's where we have the Avant quest. And much further north than that would be the Dunladin quest. Ah, I think I found the berries. Ready bush berries. Okay, not you berries then. Well, I guess that'll do for now. Actually, I don't know what kind of fruit that you produces. An interesting question. And I could ponder upon it while I gather more of these berries. Oh, yes. Use our evergreens. Though their cones do appear to be similar to berries, just not exactly berries. Sort of pseudo berries, I guess? In any case, the birds eat it first. Hello. Why are you bothering me? Hey, you there! Are you interested in making some coin? I'm a bounty hunter and I am very near the tracking down my latest quarry. But fate is cruel. I uh, landed poorly on my ankle, and now I can't move with the speed required to finish the job. If you put an end to the bounty that I seek, I'll share the reward with you. Are we agreed? Good. The target is a brigand named Bendweir, an ally of the half-orcs and a disreputable ruffian. Track him down to the northeast along the rocks. Alright, see, I'll see if I can find Bedweer then. And I also have to see if I could find some... Avok. Maybe that uh, lake will have some. And apparently we have these guys. Oops. He he oh. He's not around the rock, so I can't... Half orc slayer of Carzalad. Wonderful! See, that's what I needed. A new deed. Oh. Alright, now. Avok! I must say, he's not exactly very visible. Are they related to Crocs or something? There we are. I just have to go all the way around the lake and see if I can find any more. I think I'm getting a nice collection. On guard! There we go. That should be enough hides. Now, let's see if I could find this brigand amongst the rocks. He should be here somewhere. Oh, here, here's a warg. I assume this is not my bounty. Oh! I think I found him! Hello! What is this world coming to? This is your last chance, stranger! Bounty hunters have a way of coming to bad ends when they try to chase me. If you insist on following this course, you will not survive! 
Alright, then. We'll see. Oh, no. oh, I don't want to die. Let me go. She's not going to be happy. Uh, I've got some bad news. Leave me be. He got away. <sighs> this bounty eludes me again. <laughs> Unacceptable. He'll not get away forever. I swear it. All right. Out with it. I will not allow Bedwitter to get away again. He's probably going to try and hide amongst the half orc allies, but he doesn't know that we can track him wherever he goes. The half orc control a bridge to the north. Go there, defeat Bedwitter's allies, and look for some clue as to my bounty's whereabouts. All right. Defeat half orcs in Sedgemead or Rudimore. Well, I was running into them on occasion, so I suppose uh, that should be easy enough to find some. Ah, here's one now. And I haven't even gotten near the bridge yet. Ah, this looks like a road to a bridge. And that looks like a bridge. And that looks like an orc, or half orc, half an orc. So together the two of them make a full orc, something like that. Right. Let's take care of that. And it looks like I just need to deal with these and we've done that. So I could read the discarded parchment on the bridge that's defended by the half orcs. I just have to find the discarded parchment. Oh, actually, I think it's on the other side of the bridge. So I'll just kill a few more of them, and I shall find out what the note says. Not too far on the other side, apparently. See what's on here. The parchment has a hasty writing scrawled upon the surface. I'm finished with you and your lot. There are bounty hunters after me now, and while well, I have managed to elude them so far, I'm afraid my luck is soon to run out. I need to find something new. You half forks are on your own, and I won't cry for you. Oh, you miserable curs! You thought me only trouble, and I have enough of that on my own. Oh, you brought me only trouble, yes. Bedware. Okay, well. I'll take that to Milona, but first. I would like to go and check in with those Dunladings. And I believe they are out here somewhere. In Southern Androk. This is one of those tricky areas. While the place I seek is to the east, getting there is going to bring me near some more dangerous areas. But I thought, despite that, I will tag up here at Karanos. How can I be of service? So now I have the stable master ready for when I finally get sent to this area. Now, eastward. I suppose I'll also check at Skurlock Farm. What can I do for you? And have that stable master also. Now, I need to head south. Yes, I went so far east that now I have to go south in order to reach my location. I seem to have found the right level mobs now. Which means I'm getting close. Uh, these are wargs, not Dunladings. Well, I didn't exactly choose the optimal route here. This doesn't look like a Dunlading. What I would not give for a moment's peace. My favorite dagger was stolen by half orcs, and I want it back. I think one of their captains must have it by now, over there in Nimbarth. 
get it back for me and I'll reward you. Uh, see if I don't. Yeah, I will see if you don't, that's for sure. Hobbit made dagger, Hobbit made. <laughs> All these Hobbit made weapons here? <laughs> What's she doing with a bunch of Hobbit made weapons? Oh well. Ah! Now that looks like a group of Dunlandings. Two scouts reach for their weapons, but the third shakes her head to stop them. I hope these dark days will soon be behind us. Leader sent to Devonion to check on us? <laughs> he has no faith. Hmm. With no readers to glare at, the woman settles upon the next best thing. You. A few seconds pass before she relents. Oh, perhaps I am being too hasty, as he would say. If you truly intend to aid us, uh, then I will allow it. Wonderful. Won't you lend me your aid? Yes, there are half orcs served a wizard who is bent on spreading the war as far as he can. We plan to assassinate the half orc leaders, but the reader was captured in the attempt. Rescuing him put the entire camp on high alert. Since we are currently one short, you can act as a distraction. Fight the half orcs so that the three of us can move in undetected. Alright, so I had to kill half orcs and at the same time I suppose I can see if I could kill one of the captains I'm, si I'm sure that killing one of the captains would make them happy in any case and see if I could find a dagger there we go whoops a daisy I hope this is a good enough oh, what did I just do This necklace, which you found on the defeated half-orc, must have been taken as a trophy from someone recently. The materials that were used to craft the necklace are clearly not local. That sounds like the Dunladings, then. <laughs> to your knowledge, the only people who have come to Nimbarth are Marona and her scouts, who keep watch outside of the ruins. It might be worth asking her if she recognizes the necklace. Yeah. A reminder of home. There we go. And we come to you. Hello. So now, is there a captain up here who might. Actually, is that, is that a captain? No, that's a sentry. Oops, oops, a daisy. Goblin Slayer of Cardalon. Oops, Daisy. Hmm. Ah, well. Uh, that was poor timing there. Alright, now. At home in the ways. Half orcs defeated. Oh, yes. Ah, there's a bruiser. Now, I need a captain. Is there a captain around here? Ah, oh, there's the captain right over there. Killing the bulk of these are probably going to definitely distract them. And collected a bloodstained dagger. I is this Tansy's favorite? Well, I guess I'm going to have to assume so. Let's go back and find out. Before I speak with Tansy, I better speak with the Dunladings. You're all devotee in these lands. Ah, this necklace. Yes, I know who its owner is. The half works must have taken it all from Reader when they captured him. If you'd like to return it to him, he should still be resting at the camp. All right. 
Won't you lend me your aid? Ah, you fought admirably. Yes, I kept a close eye on you. Uh, there have been some who have tried to betray us, let's say. And caution has kept my people alive thus far. We shall stay here for a bit longer and continue watching the half-orc activities. If you can, please let Redux know what's happened. Alright, fine, I will speak to him on that. And now, uh, let's speak with... Tesni. Tesni. I think I've been saying her name wrong quite a number of times so far, so... Ah, here she is. Hello there. Is this your dagger? Can you spare a moment? Ah, you got it back. I never doubted you. But, I have to say, this dagger has seen better days. Look at all the dried blood on the blade. I don't want to think about whose blood this might be. Ah, I don't think this dagger is my favorite anymore. I did promise you a reward, though, and I will not go back with my word. It's a shame, though. It was such a nice dagger. So, she gives me the dagger. I mean... Right, I guess that's what she gives me. Destination Lone Lands. Now, I will have to head over to the Lone Lands at some point because there is actually a rep bonus that I can get. Oh, actually, no. It's a virtue bonus that I could get, gain if I manage to get rep with them. Don't ask me why that's the rep that goes with River Hobbits, but that is the case. But for now, I need to get back to camp. But of course, the easier way to get there is via this. Hello, Etta. Here are your berries. Greetings. Ah, perfect. These are exactly what I was hoping for. Thank you very much. Actually, <laughs> those are the hides, not the berries. Her husband requested the berries. So why he couldn't deliver them directly to her, I don't know. And here are Why are you bothering me? Oh, you have them. You good. Oh, this is wonderful. I know it will be only fulfill this temporary craving, but I can't wait to see the smile that it brings to Edda's face. Okay, and good. And... Oh, I'm level 19 now. Oh, now I'm level 19. Well, don't worry. I'm ready to head into... Tharban, I could kill plenty of orcs for my deed. And Rider. Oh, my necklace! I didn't think that I'd ever see this again. To tell you the truth, the loss of my necklace pained me more than the actual injuries. It's all that I have of Dunland. Right? And everyone's safe then. Good! And the half orcs have been dealt with? That's excellent news. Well, I just. It was a wager, but the odds were in my favor. After all, there must be more good in the world than bad. Ah, uh, thank you. There we go. Now, I need to... What do we need to do? Oh, yes, I need to speak with that bounty hunter, and I need to find a mare, and, of course deal with the other things in this area in the next episode of River and Sea.